sentinel positions of 700 scattered blocks from the long inner walls of the temple. Although the block seems the same, each block is different. Each one has its own individual unperceivable information, the cuttings, the heights, and the, we're talking about differences of a tenth of a millimeter here. That's about the thickness of a hair. The team turned to modern technology to assist them. Each stone, like everywhere on the Acropolis, was ID'd and entered into the computer system. As soon as a fragment of marble is found, it takes a number and it is uh, entered in the database. So far we have 5,500 architectural members of the Parthenon. All with detailed descriptions of height, width, slope, corrosion, cracking, stain marks, even graffiti. By mapping these variables, Porosky and the team hoped to reconstruct the two inner walls. We found about 52 criteria we could give maximum to one, uh, one block of the wall. If you measure all the, all the constructive elements, you have about 52 criteria. So we thought, let's try to put it on a computer program to press the button and to see if we have a result. But the puzzle proved too complex. Mathematically, it was working, but we didn't have any result. In the end, to put her wall back together, Porosky had to draw each stone onto a card and with the help of detailed measurements, shuffle them around. So the final decision was made by I. It took five years to identify the position of around 500 of the pieces. It's been over 30 years since the restoration began. The Parthenon is a 20,000-ton, 70,000-piece, three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. And worse, it's a puzzle that doesn't include instructions. No one has found anything resembling architectural plans. Where are they written, these things? Where are they writing? Do you have so many papers, we have computers, we have everything? How they are doing and how they communicate and we're going so quickly in eight years. I cannot understand, I cannot imagine. 